So we need to fertilize the big grass field, then mow it. Collect some grass for silage. Head some grass and bale some grass. Because we bought ourselves some two cows. Food. Two over to the apple orchard and get it started. Hey, do boy, what is up? Good boy's in the house. This is a nice mod. Oh, someone started it up. It's loud. Do I need to wait? No, it's just loud. Come over here and have you check, check the side out. Uh, you want me to grab that big fertilizer thing down there at that uh, store and take that up there to get that grass field done in a hurry? Ooh, that's fancy. We got an animated uh, fan blade and uh, an alternator on your side. Bosch battery. I thought we'd weed. With the weeder, since you said you never weeded before. Oh, 10 4. Didn't want to weed with the finished tractor? Uh, sure, but I was thinking more along the lines of maybe like Field 6, not like freaking huge Ford Field. Four. Does field six have grass in it? No, I was using that for a size reference for that thing. That actually doesn't take too long to weed. Well, see, the wide tires are for the grass. See, well, so you're going to uh, you're going to minimize your uh, footprint, your your compaction. You're uh, spreading your weight out. Field four. I mean, go for it. No, sir. I'm going to make Farmer Klein's day here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to. Uh... You need that mod, and then you need the Ultra High Tech mod. High Tech? Yeah. It's a full kind of High Tech. It's the High Tech. Um, is that the fast it's like one? A nine, it's like a 90s model Volta. Oh, uh, okay. But I love the light bar on top. It has like an old school light bar instead of beacons. Uh, um, you know what we, we need? Oh, shoot. We need a little trailer. Buy one. You've got a little one here by the pig. Got yeah, pig food in I just bought a little trailer. We need the uh, telehandler and the little trailer over here at the uh, the apple orchard to, uh, to poo up the trees. Hey, Doughboy. Hey, Red Cyber Redneck. Dirty tractor. What's up? Now, at some point, I do want to drive around in my own personalized uh, grain truck. So am I driving this EPOS? Is that what you want me to bring, or? A fancy new thing. And the C6, the Chevy C70? Uh, it just should say Chevy Green Truck. Oh, uh, it's C70, C70, that's it. All right, so I gotta pick up poo, right? Is that, is that what you're needing? The main color was white. You want it? Orange. Cube color. I don't care. 
Yeah, it has to be default white, so it can be color selected. What's what's the cube? Is that the rear trailer? Or a bucket? No, nah, that's that stupid dice. Oh, okay. Cube and. No work lights, they just look goofy. So good. Hey Tazzy Nate, what is up? I did fix it up so it looks a hell of a lot better now. Oh, I gotta put on the head tracking so you can see the dangly bits. Oh, you can probably see the dangly bits from outside. Oh, not too good. Take the work lights off. Oh, yeah, this, this little EPOS thing is just cool. There's the dangly bits. <laughs> uh, custom dice and a uh, custom air freshener. Do I need to buy poop or do we have some? The, uh, point okay all right I got your grain truck how's Joran farm treating you Tazzy Nate the wrong way. Totally went the wrong way. Oh, uh, is Spectre still around? We need to show Spectre the girl at the shop. Spectre is around. We got a. We got. We got. We brought his favorite lady from Hoff Bergman here. Okay, into, so the, uh, <laughs> into the into uh, the map. There's there's Specker's favorite lady. He's trying to pull this trailer with this epos. It's not. He uh. Work. He um. He spent quite a long time here in the shop talking to that lady. Or on Hoff Bergman. We have a pickup truck, don't we? Uh, the pickup hitch is too low for the trailer. I tried bringing it back. That rug the whole way. I mean, you can do it. It just doesn't look good. It's as if I meant to park it there. Sweet. Oh, we need to get back over here to... What we were doing. It's watering our apples. Hey, Grey Wolf, what's up if I haven't said hi earlier?
I saw you switch to a Tazzy Nape. I saw you. Compost, does it matter? Either or. Still have uh, unused compost? No, I think it's. I just, just put it all on the fields. Unless you made more. No, we didn't make it. I saw you were, uh, looks like you were doing a time lapse series now on Jordan versus the uh, live streams. Hey, rubber burner. What's up? This little brander holds. 7,777 pounds of manure. <laughs> I guess that's what 8,500 liters is. It was almost a pound. This is one of Dirty Tracker's favorite maps. I remember you liked to show off live streams using course play, and they all they they always turn into a uh, interesting display of uh, troubleshooting. Can you just get caught. Yeah, I believe it to you guys to do something and think up something I never even planned for. Like what? Like turn the whole map into alfalfa haven and want to solid it all? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden it got quiet. Game volume just seemed to drop all of a sudden. Tell him to go. Oh, Darren's it. Oh, okay. We're following me back. Okay. You want me to dump the poo inside the shed? Oh, you can just dump it outside, wherever you want. There's a little, there's a little bare spot right there intended for that purpose. I see it. Let's go back so we can see you used a fancy telehandler with the rotating head oh it's empty it's all yours if you want oh I was gonna want to watch you do it
Yeah, rotating, uh, rotating, well, I should say rotating arm. Hey Haggard, what's up? Well, can you do it from the side? right down the line, can't you? Yeah, apparently this is a real thing. Those that haven't seen it, it's over at uh, Creative Mesh Remod. Got a link in my uh, Discord in the mod links. There's Rob wishing everyone would take a... Rob's hoping everyone takes a break before 19. I don't understand it. thought we would play an American map with non-American tractors just for fun this thing is pretty cool it sounds pretty cool you done it I got the rear weight because I didn't know if it would get front heavy with Uh, it's in the uh, it's in the description. The link. Let's. Let's see, we should be able to mow this. We're not going to get a whole ton, but we should be able to mow it. There we go. Oh, we'd use this mower just for funsies. Yeah, I'm actually, I used it over on uh, Emerald Coast. I had the old haybind, which ran at like six mile an hour. It was wider than this, but it was was slow at six miles an hour so I decided to uh, upgrade to the in-game disc bind which was faster but narrower What's the production rate on these trees I can't remember crate like every season but we won't have a full crate of apples until midsummer If there's, is there a tether included with the base equipment? Or a, uh, oh, yeah, I think so. But we need a forage wagon first. I want to, I want to feed the uh, 
silage silo. I added 10,000 liters. That won't last us long. You need a for Do you need me to buy a forge wagon? I can't remember if I pull one on this map because it doesn't seem too American. I need that Miller. Is it, is it the Miller loading box that you were using on? Alright, trees have been pooped. Alright, I bought you a loading wagon at the shop. Well, we can dump a few loads of uh, grass in the fermenter. Then we can um, ted and bale the rest. How's that weeder working for you? It's nice because it's not costing, but it's slow. Oh, it's like three mower wits. It's gonna take me six rounds to catch up to you. I see apples. Sent home Saturday. No more Virginia hospitality. Thanks for joining Discord there, Gray Wolf. Go. You talked to Will lately? Uh, I have not. Hadn't seen him around in a while. I just want to make sure he's okay. Well, I understand it. I think he's still on his trip. That's faster than the, uh, that weeder is just as fast as the, uh, fertilizer sprayer. into general population well thanks for cheering me up there but I'll point out this thing's like four times smaller <laughs> all right well you said you never used a weeder before Do you, you guess I'm feel for yeah I'm gonna switch and run the mower it's twice as fast no, width. I've done that before. I'm going to do this. I'm going to finish it because <laughs> I'm going to get two years worth out of this one. All right. <laughs> Where are we 
got 15 days until uh, 19 comes up. Uh, if you bought it on uh, from Giants, you would have it two weeks right now. If they release it at midnight. Germany time, which is CET, which is plus one GMT, which would make it, what, four hours behind East Coast time, which would put it at 8 p.m. on the 19th. Gotcha. I bought most, all the DLCs that I bought, I bought straight from Giant's website, and I had them um, around 8 or seven, depending on the time zone, the day before they were to release, because technically the day before, because they release it at midnight. Download unlocks. But Steam, apparently Steam is gonna, Steam releases it potentially later. Might not be till sometime on the 20th. Steam went shows up. Well, yeah, if you, if you still got swelling and all that, then that's all, then that's putting pressure on the ribs and everything. <clears throat> you know, my favorite thing about this map, Darren, on the PDA, all the fields are brown. I love that. Like, like on some maps, the fields you start with are painted like the texture, the color of the mm -hmm. the crop that starts in them or something. Yep. I like the fact that all these are brown on the map. Yeah, I just find it easier to know what's going on. I agree. Oh, he's behind me. So this is going in the silage tower? Yeah, I thought we yeah, we need to stock that. I only put 10,000 liters of silage in there to start it. And then I put uh, 50,000 liters of sugar beets in the ice cream factory so we don't have to grow sugar beet. A haggard, that, it was, this was deliberate. We deliberately chose to uh, what did you guys plan? to not do American tractors. Put alfalfa in field. Put alfalfa in field one. Did. Yes. We've got um, rye in field five. Oats or something. And some oats for duck's horse. For a straw. And I'm gonna put in soybeans, like three, and I think corn and field six or something. I read an article today, it said uh, by the end of this year's harvest they'll have 890 million bushels of soybeans stored up in the United States. It was delivered, Haggard. We were going to deliberately some not use American had equipment. Grown soybeans. Some of the worst prices. In fact, we picked Fent because it was the other green tractor. But I have to say that uh, down here in Virginia, I've been starting to see more and more fence um, out and about.
and cloth forage or cloth harvesters. Yeah, it's it's the YouTube bot. That's the only thing I'm, I've got. YouTube filter is thinking you're trying to uh, say bad things when you do those two abbreviations. I think I've seen yellow and black. I've seen the white. White cloths. And Darren's in the uh, the Finnish Valmont just because it's a pretty hot looking tractor. Sounds nice. It's got lots of power to it. I should have left the Nokian tires on that Valmont. You know, the kind of tires you see on like the, uh, the, uh, like the tractors that the uh, municipalities use. That's what I was saying, Haggard, yeah, that we're seeing more and more fence around here. We've got fence challengers for the most part. There's still some Masseys that are that came with the map that I left, but uh, yeah. You know, it took me until just today to realize that uh, these Monday streams, I'm competing with Monday Night Football. <laughs> Didn't I watch football anymore? I, I disowned it two years ago when all uh, players were back to like oiled pansies. Uh, I just don't find it entertaining anymore. I forget, but you were saying, Darren, that when you did field three, you you literally got in the map, the game, and created that field from you know, plowing it out. Is that the only field you did that with? Uh, no, probably three or four. Whichever ones look most unique, so I could get it close to the road without, you know, making it too awful. Probably. One, two, and three. Yeah, that is definitely. Let's put it this way. Every one is not square. I think that's a pretty slick, uh, slick way of doing it opposed to stamping it out in the, uh, in the editor. Hey Fabio, what's up? Fabio says, hey everybody. Hey Fabio.
first load has been delivered. All right, let's see. That thing holds how much? Thirty-eight thousand. Thirty-three, I think. That's the second number. Yeah, I think I looked at the garage. Now this is a this is a different map than uh, than the recorded series. Thirty-four thousand meters. Oh, you're talking about the live streams, yeah. So we just started this one last Monday. How many cows did you buy? Or was it Tuesday? Uh, I got 50 of each. I uh, look for it tomorrow. Check it out tomorrow, Fabio. Uh, this is... The exact map that we're playing is available in my mod links. Uh, Darren didn't upload the latest edit to PCSG, but there is a version over at PCSG that uh, is mostly this. I wish, uh, I know you've said it before, Colin, but I really think it would improve how alive the game felt if there were AI workers working the other fields. Yeah, I thought that'd be cool as opposed to just seeing the crop just suddenly disappear. You know? Actually see a uh, harvester harvesting. Not so much, you know, driving up and down the roads or anything. Just, just a yeah, harvester. Just in the field. Yeah, just running up and down like AI would run up and down. It's like a yeah, mission yeah. where you don't have to unload it. I gotta shut the tractor off so I can say anything so you can hear me. You know, the way the animated cows and stuff are, some modder could just make the models uh, tractors and make them do something for visual. Oh, like... Like put the cow, a cow nav mesh out in the middle of the field, but swap them out for tractors, and they just well, tractors the just wander around. The animated uh, cow stuff you see, it's all done with splines. It's like a wire all over the place, and they just follow it. So they, they're, it, they would be doing the same thing over and over and over, but you'd ju that's just what you'd see. Oh, so you could have a spline that just circles the field. Or maybe it goes up and down, builds outside the game order. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know how they're... Right. A lot of the map makers now are just putting the playable area, area smaller than the map itself. I'd like to see a couple tractors, like... In the traffic spine. It's always just cars. <laughs> yep, the blue scar map tomorrow, I guess six a.m. Models, right? Just be able to export them from the editor. The uh, if that thing holds like thirty thousand liters or something, let's do three loads into the silo, so it's around a hundred thousand. Switch over to add the rest. Well, DB, some people like little stuff. They get, uh, they feel intimidated by big fields or uh, wide open spaces or, or lots of area. They like, uh, they like little stuff and they like to do a field in like, you know, 20 minutes. They don't want to be working a field for hours on end. And then there's other folks that like big, wide open fields that you gotta use big equipment on or you gotta use multiple equipment on or they farm at 1x speed and it literally takes eight hours to do a field but that's what they want alright cool thanks glad that's uh, still being watched 
That was a real fun series to do. That was actually my first, um, you know, first season's play that wasn't related to a challenge. Tomorrow, election day. I don't think our kids are in school. I'll be happy when it's over so I can watch YouTube videos without watching campaign ads. I think our kids are in school tomorrow. So they use all the schools here for polling places, so they just close the schools with this election. My main goal voting tomorrow is to vote anybody that is running for school board that's in office to get them out of office. <laughs> so if, you know, if, they're, if they're a candidate that's already on the school board, I'll vote for whoever else is running. This local school board made a rather controversial decision as a uh, semi-closed vote, and uh, several people are rather upset about it. Like, I'll just vote, vote them out, see if they last the election. Really nothing. There isn't a whole lot of local stuff here. Just uh, uh, just your senators and congressmen. Yeah, Radic, it's uh, the farming tablet, and then MP Manager, or the new version of MP Manager doesn't require the farming tablet. Um, MP Manager is in the Mod Hub, and you set it up. Everyone has their own, basically their own bank account. You uh, set your own equipment. You own your own equipment. Only you can get into your own equipment. Only players that are registered with MP Manager can get into uh, the server. Well, we've been using it for quite a while on our multiplayer servers in uh, in our channel. See, it's getting dark. It looks like, gosh, is it going to rain? I mean, look at the forecast for the day. It's just like, let's move some grass. Just cloudy, I think. Now that Valmet has something down in the lower right corner. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Like a number and then MA or something. Did everybody see that uh, starting next Monday there will be live streams at 2 p.m. Eastern um, of FS19 for the week leading into uh, release? I saw that here. I saw your announcement you put in. I wonder who will be the developers playing, I guess? Or... Uh, I know Virtual Farmer will be... Having a uh, shot at it, probably on the English stream. Okay, so they've got some media partners they're working with. Yeah. They're doing a German stream at one time and an English stream at another time.
He says simulate, simulate eight, and VF. All right, load, load two is complete. Angry dudes. Yeah, I like the dudes. Yeah, I linked, I pinned it, Fabio. I pinned uh, Darren's post to Willow River. I like the in cab of the dudes. That's cool. And then uh, right above that and below that, there are some mods that are. Um, very useful on the map. I wouldn't say they're absolutely required, but they're going to be very useful if you want to, uh, to do the dairy and the ice cream production. And if you want to mow the alfalfa, because this map you can actually mow the alfalfa and bale it. Actually make alfalfa bales. Use alfalfa to, um, for feeding your cows, as well as uh, power food mix. Hey, Genetic J, what is up? Hey, Farm Alls Forever. How's it all going, guys? Field isn't near as bad as that big field on Emerald Coast. Gosh, it, it's like a day. It's a monster, that's for sure. Two hundred and some hay bales off of that. Two stages of growth. Maybe says something about field 82. Sorry, I don't have the stream pulled up. It says it was field 82. Two. Oh, okay. Tell him, tell him I got it. Already did. I forget about that. What I'm wondering in 19, since we have animated clouds and we have an actual sun that traverses the sky, if an animated cloud covers the sun we get overcast? Yes, we will find out. So I'm pretty sure ATS started modeling that. Yeah, because uh, we were talking about that a while back. How it, yeah, you'll be driving and then it gets real dim. Speaking of ATS, Volvo fans should be grinning from year to year. Motorsport manager videos I put up. That's that's been my time sink. I have to admit, I just 
This weekend I did uh, I did a marathon of like 12 videos. So even though I'm only releasing one a week, I'm done the whole first season, all 16 races. So I got videos <laughs> queued up through February. <laughs> <laughs> but it's one of those things where you start and then you're like, okay, I gotta stop. Then all you can think about is, you know, what what are you gonna do? Like next? And you're like, well let me just get in and do it. Then you're like, okay, let me just do the next race. Let me just do the next one. Next thing you know you got like five saved up. You're like, well I've already got five done, I might as well finish the rest. Are you making fun of my mowing, Farmall? I mean, it's not hard to do with this mower. You just drive in the middle of the windrow, and the mower's offset just right to uh, do the next one. That will be... Uh, I might be able to. Next Monday, I won't be able to play. It'll work. I got some extra shifts coming up. Uh, has Holidays there been another coming. update, Joran? Or to Joran? Switch is called Starlink. It's a Star Fox game that you build your spaceship and attach it to your controller. And you can like customize it, add like different guns and stuff to it, and then it changes it in the game. I've seen those Nintendo Lab cardboard things. I thought it was just a gimmick, like the. Uh Buy the wheel for the Wii and you know, play Mario Kart better than just you know, holding the controller, mm -hmm. rotating it. But actually adding things, adding cardboard things to the uh, to the controller setup actually modifies the game element. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the Starlink. He he came. He was watching TV and he's like, come look, come look. Looked and we watched the commercial like three times. It looks really interesting. Pretty neat. Of course, it's going to be a money sink because like the starter kit's $100 or something. And then he's going to want... It's the same with like Skylanders. Gosh, I don't... I couldn't... At one time, he probably had a hundred different little Skylander characters. It's a genius concept. Yep, game we got developers. a tether and rower. That's, that's what will be next for farm sim. You have to buy each tractor and put it on a little thing to play in the game. Just that at some point. Animal. Now that's why I'm going to be negative. You notice that awful video we had to see today? That I wasn't impressed. Did you see how small that cow pasture was? Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, hopefully that is like, because at one point they talked about different placeable pasture things, like sizes. They had different limits, so hopefully that was like small. So if that's, that's the size you get, they actually do limit you to the number of animals that can go in the thing. You're not going to get like, you're going to have like five cows. Like 
<laughs> Why have five cows? Because it's going to take you three weeks of gameplay to get a trailer load of milk. Uh, the plan for today is to I just weed the field, mow the field, foundation for modders to improve upon. <laughs> collect the uh, grass, three loads of grass for our ferment silo, then ted the rest of this grass, bale it, I agree, and uh, store it for our cows because we need to feed our cows. That's our that's our plan for tonight. Well, I didn't notice it. I just saw a little bird shadow. It's the first time I've seen it on the map. On this one. Hey, Farmer Austin. I don't think... Was uh, was Joran's updated very recently? Like, within the last... Um, okay, three week? loads complete. What next? There, a cat. Uh, there's a tether at the store. No, no, no. There's, there's a tether somewhere around here. Tether on the farm somewhere. Okay. Somewhere in Kwanzaa huts. A building I can never remember the name of. There is a wind rower at the shop. Baylor at the shop. Uh, Darren edited that, and it's over at the, uh, it's in my mod links. I didn't see you, but I heard you. LOL, that was the whole point. <laughs> Uh, it was posted just uh, just a day or two ago. The uh, the coon um, power food mixers were were is a Darren edit that takes off out takes off alpha. Uh, but basically, there was a uh, comment made uh, last week sometime either during the Friday or Wednesday stream. I said it'd be cool if you could wrap alfalfa bales. We already have a baler. If so, you sell the one he bought. Darren took that uh, took that challenge on and made one. There's a wind roper, tether and baler in the Kwanzaa hut. So if I sell one. We've got a tipper and an auger wagon in the Kwanzaa hut. I have too much more to mow. What did uh, what did Maverick say was fixed in this this update? Big M would make quick work of this for sure. I didn't uh, steal the film. I didn't put it in. I actually didn't put too many mods in that weren't uh, related to uh, tractors that I wanted to use. Kind of, uh, 
Kind of forgot about some of the mods. Reality is that we're really just playing this as a bridge to 19 anyway. Plus, we want to encourage Darren to uh, to get cracking on a 19 edit of this. Love to put some serious hours into this on 19. Thought about doing the butterfly mowers, but can't really do the butterfly mowers in cab because I really don't know where that side mower is. This, you just follow the previous row of grass, pretty much going to be spot on. I thought, Fabio, you could uh, summarize the changes since I'm really not in a position to look it up at the moment. Just curious if if we've got the latest update or if there's been a new update since since we updated the multiplayer server. I think we updated the multiplayer server a week ago. Spectre is running the multiplayer server now. It's hosting that map. Fifty. Get all that horsepower to uh, and row that together. I just like one woman in my life to talk nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> then, then don't get in the challenger because it's like this. Um, so who's that? Who is that? Uh, the the Asian guy on um, Star Trek. Sulu. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the Challenger sounds like it's that guy, like, saying welcome to Challenger or something. It's like... Ooh. Was it George Takai? Is that the actor that played? Yeah, that sounds right. Hey, Mike. What's up? I don't think we have anything smaller than the 1050, <laughs> other than this 
<laughs> this is the problem. Everything we have is big. seeing on the scrape sites a uh, a transport pack like the Flegel transport pack it looked like it was modded to take all of those uh, inputs hey John thanks for dropping by chat with you later weights on the front are uh, variable but a whole stack load on there On faster than them, but they are working wider than me, so catch up. It's already caught up. That's nice. I like how it's not too big. Uh -uh. Some of the in game weights are just huge. They stick way out there, and it's like, oh, cheeky. Yeah. So I like these fan weights. There's a couple of them. There's a New Holland one that you can. Just to I, I use that tractor and those weights on uh, Rathlin. I went to a mod hoster and there's there was a quite a few of these development different models available. Yep cutting grass. We planted alfalfa. We won't have alfalfa for a while. Thanks for waiting. I think, I think you're going to run out of grass to Ted here pretty quick. Yeah, I see it right. I said, son, turn that noisy thing down. <laughs> oh, we don't have 
of straw. Need to put buy bales in and get some straw in here so we can make power food after the stream. I think I got buy. Not to add it. Hey Haggard, what's up? Welcome back. You able to win row five rows or four? Or Ted? Five. Isn't it kind of hard to spray manure in the middle of the dark? We also need to remember to farm the uh, museum fields. Yeah, because you own those from the start, man. Right? Yeah, they're not, not defined as fields, so yeah, you own them. Just say they're not numbered. Birdie, birdie, birdies.
then we will be able to uh, fertilize this again and uh, let it grow to full growth. Hopefully next time before we cut it. I didn't use this uh, this disc spine until just a couple weeks ago. Pretty much any time I ever mowed the grass, I used uh, I used either the butterfly mowers or a mod. Sure you've been watching Bipolar Profits speedrun returns. Yeah, I've watched them all. I just kinda of find it a little weird where it's like no end. It's just the next day you're on a different Sounded like, sounded like he kind of did several uh, several days back to back. You know, so by the time they air, then moved on to another map before he really is uh, part way through autumn on the other one. Oh, stepping it up, growing the feedlot. We talked about that before. On into business with your uh, girlfriend's dad or something. Make much sense doing production with his speedrun gameplay because if you're just going to play to the end of autumn, lots of the production stuff by the time you would have crop to use in production, would be ending it. Hey, Gunslinger. Turn around and catch this a little bit. And the back down here could be tedded up. I'm done with it. Okay, I'll be right there. You can Just please do that little bit. Down to the museum. Uh, okay. So, grass field down there. Hey, Rasnick, you didn't drink much coffee night, did you? Because I know she didn't want to put the kids to bed. <laughs> uh, the kids are already in bed. It's the side effect of uh, time change. Their bodies yeah, aren't caught be. up yet. So they're like, we're going to bed. And you're like, well, it's a little early. Okay. Ours came up to us at 7.30 and said, I'm ready for my milk and raspberries, which is like his evening snack. Has to drink warm milk. Can't fathom the concept that someone would drink cold milk. No, it has to be warm. So, really? so we, uh, I'm like, okay, a little early for that. I asked the wife, he's like, do you think his body still thinks it's, you no, know, 8.30? About 7:30, she's like, "Well, I'm not telling him different. <laughs> if he wants, if he wants to go to bed at 8:30, thinking he's gotten to stay up half an hour, then, uh, but I 
Yeah, this is this is the one that first thing he gets up in the morning he has to have his warm milk. That's his coffee. It's, it's so funny because go in and wake him up and I'm like, ready for your milk? He's like, yes. And you bring it to him and he leaves his eyes closed and he just starts feeling around for your hand and your arms. <laughs> Grabs the grabs the bottle, he grabs the sippy cup because we put it in that frame, and then just feels the top of the sippy cup for the uh, the ridge and the hole. Then rotates it, keeping his eyes closed. He doesn't open his eyes until he's drank his morning milk. What is going on here? You can't start your day until you have your milk. Now he'll drink cold chocolate milk. White milk? No. I came home from daycare. It's like... Like... They tried to serve me cold. They wouldn't even warm it up when I asked them. Almost done. You know, figuring that we've got five streams probably left on this map, we're kind of doing a speed run on this map. I guess we have six streams. Might stream it on the 19th. I don't know. It depends if we have access to 19. I'm curious to see what happens. comment today to uh, about Emerald Coast to to convert a field over to an orchard. I was like, oh, I never thought about doing that. We did that on multiplayer. We got the placeable fruit trees. And um, actually we didn't convert a field just past the cow farm, there's that area with all the trees on the left. When you're going from the cow farm to the pig farm on the left, there's like a little stand of trees. Yeah. We actually cleared that out and planted the fruit trees there. So we had like a night where everyone worked on building the orchard. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I was going to take that little field 29 that's right by the cow shed after the crops mm -hmm. are off of it and put them there. And we put the orange, orange trees in. What is best? They just auto sale? They're just a greenhouse. They generate hourly income as long as you have manure and water on them. They burn through manure or water like crazy. I know on Churn Farm when I put some in, I tweaked the, uh, the script so it basically used one unit of manure and water a day. So pretty much only had to water them and put manure in once a year. Kiwi. Did you no, say that? Uh, this place. 
What were you saying, Dan? Sorry. Did you see where Ian Robson was actually shoveling snow at Emerald Coast? Yeah, I commented on his video. I said, did you put a, uh, a Geo in? Because the in game, the in map Geo, like, won't get below 40. 45. It's like. Uh, how you got, like, sub frozen temperatures. Said, yeah, I think I put one in, but I don't know which. It's like, oh, gee. Didn't Delta do that with the... Yeah, he, he put the snowy lands, the eternal yeah. winter one. What's the Kiwi saying? He can't hold it back any longer. He's going to tell us what the new mods are on the first day of 19. No spoiler alerts. No spoiler alerts. I think one of them will, have, will be the South American map. last week you were insisting it was going to be in the game. Well, it would have been announced right now if it was going to be in game, but from what I've been hearing, it's going to be a day one. I'm going to go with it's going to be day one, and they haven't showed it because everybody already knows what the map is. <laughs> I'm going to go with day one mod the big dud. Making it some nice geometric shape. I wouldn't be surprised. I think the first DLC is going to be John Deere. Just more John Deere stuff. To be honest, I think we'll see a lot of converts from 17 up to 19, like bad converts. Within the first week and week and a half of 19. Yeah, pretty easy, uh, easy guess. Because it wouldn't be ha it wouldn't be hard to do stuff up on that debate. Had a ton of bad 15 converts. The 17, still coming through. Yeah, uh, it will be interesting to see we will we get in a 15 convert up to nine. If you look at it, we have we've had 13 converts to 17. But what Klein was talking about, they won't they won't look right. I think they're gonna look all flat and blah. Because it's a completely different texture or way of texturing. Well, they're still using cube maps. Yeah, but I think there's like 16 channels now or somewhere. Because each... Each, um... Material type has its own channel or something. The thing I would be interested in is how many extra fruits can we add in to 19? I'm gonna go out and say 7. On top of what we currently got, see the extra one? Yep, that's my guess. Hold me to it. Seven. 
<laughs> well, what, what, what crops do we need in 19? Like, extra ones? We need rice, alfalfa, we need sweet potatoes, we need carrots, chickpeas, we need chickpeas, we need hummus, that's chickpeas. I want to. I want to make a hummus factory. Yeah, hummus factory. I'm with you. Well, um, did you see Strawberry's video on mowing and bagging alfalfa the other week? Nope. Yeah, he's actually got to uh, mow and bale up. I do too. Right here on this map, Darren did it. He has to wait till it grows. We even have an alfalfa bale wrapper. We do some fabulous modding skills. Is it modding tomorrow? Same guy. Like it is. The reason I was the reason I was asking is because it looks pretty dark out there. It's cloudy. There's a storm brewing, but it's gonna blow over. It's on the other side of the mountains. We know through uh, historical life experience that uh, typically, if the storm comes up on that side of the mountains, it, it never makes it over. Mountains cause it to peter out. Just dumps all its rain on that side. Too bad the local weather forecaster hasn't learned yet. It keeps predicting massive rainstorm. Sit there and say, "All right, buddy, leave it when I see it." So are you gonna watch? Are you gonna watch the other giant streams climb? Uh, I don't know. Given the fact that they're they, they're streaming in the middle of my work day, it's going to depend on what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll probably watch the recordings of them. I'm sure they'll publish the recordings. Why why would it be in the middle of your work day? Because it's at it's two PM. English stream is at two PM. My time. Oh, okay. You're. What are you doing? Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. I'm guessing you're Eastern Time. No. Yeah. Because it's 11 a.m. Pacific. Middle of my work day, so depending on what my work is, depending on how much attention I can put on it. But don't you work as an IT person? So couldn't you have it on one of your monitors? And just look into it. If I'm in the office, not in a meeting, not trying to focus on some something else.
go. Hey, Ollie, what's up? Uh, we're not going to make silage bales because we have a fermenter at the farm. And uh, we've already delivered grass to that. So we'll get silage out of the fermenter. Took three trips to the fermenter, so we've got about 100,000 liters of silage being cooked on. I got a flatbed over at the uh, store. Just need a semi. Time for auto load. No. Since that other, oh, other flatbed I bought was auto load. Kiwi. I see Gisu misses me the other day. The rock hound misses me the other day. So if I'm going to guess, I'm going to have to guess something like Rod Stewart. But you spoiled it for me, so I couldn't uh, guess. Those winds look good, Clyde. I'll just catch you up on your general care. No wings look nice. I'm using my wings. What? Those wings in there you posted in general track look good. Oh, chicken oh, wings? Money. Are they wings or are they um, nibbles? Like, it's hard to tell on the picture. Chicken wings? That's what I'm guessing one. Yeah, they look really good. What's the sauce on top? I don't know. Barbecue sauce. Get the brand. Uh, okay. Teenage daughter comes home and says, Can you make chicken wings? Because we haven't had chicken wings in a long time. I'd really like you to do some chicken wings. kind of feel obligated to do chicken wings since half, three quarters of the time she will never eat what you make. Like, holy cow, you're actually going to eat something I make? I don't have to make three dinners? One that me and your mom eat, one that your brother eats, and then one that you eat? They uh, should just be thankful for what they did. That's what you think, right? If they don't like it, you just tell them to go to the next store. That's what my parents say to me when I don't want to pick something. Or they like something, they just tell me to go next door if I don't like it. I don't know how many bales we're going to get off of this. Let's cut one gross date. So have you figured out when your last 17 video is going up yet, Clyde? Last 17 video? Yeah, have you worked it, worked it out with the last one that will be going up? I don't know. Either be when I get to 10 years on Emerald Coast, or I just get tired of doing Emerald Coast. Ah, oh, okay. So it might be sometime in 2019. So are you doing a mixture of 17 and 19 videos, are you? Yeah. Still reserving the right that if I get into 19, I'm just completely blown away to the point where 17 just feels like blah. Then I'll play to year five. Stop. If not, 
I'll try to keep it up. Videos will come out a lot slower because we won't have eight or nine hours a week to dedicate to uh, trying to work through a 12 day season. Which one is that? Someone's asking me your chat that the map is coming out and I don't know what it's talking about. Uh, it all depends, Fabio, if Giants gets back to, uh, to releasing maps and mods for 17. Last I heard, it was uploaded to the Mod Hub, uh, but we know that things have basically... I doubt we're going to see his map until... ...semi-stalled. Um, so it might, it might still well, come out for 17. One to 19 now. But uh, I know Alien Jim said that he wants it out for console, so he, he definitely won't release it for for PC on you know Facebook or anything. It's it's console or nothing. So it might be might be a 19 convert at this point. I think I think lots of folks are a little depressed at the uh, the seemingly early abandonment of, of of getting 17 mods out there such that I know a few mods that have been recently released on FSUK were originally uploaded to the mod hub but uh, due to basically it's sitting there in a pending state for weeks pending testing I think the modders just eventually got frustrated and uh, took it over to FSUK, which took the upload, tested it, and put it out. And we still haven't seen, poor console folks, still haven't seen Shamrock Valley, for what it's worth. But, uh, but you know, how did, how or why did, um, did, uh, what's the, What's that German map that Ellis Mod Company did that just got updated last week? Stop and block. No. With all There's these other idea. mods sitting and pending, how and why did Stop and Bach and those other three mods show up just out of the blue last week? Um, I can give you two words. Partnership with Giants for my team. Because don't quote me on this, but because Placeable is becoming a big thing in 19, do you, don't quote me on this, but I think at least my company might have been working with them. So, you think, you so. think about it, most of the factory scripts and most of the Placeable scripts come out from either Alice Mo Company or Mahu, the guy from Mahu, I don't know his name. Does that mean Frontier Designs is chopped liver? Because Shamrock Valley's been not released for console. If they well, magically made Stop and Box show up at the last minute, where is Shamrock Valley at for console? Well, at the end of the day, we don't know when that update got sent to Giants. And we don't know what order people got stuff in the Giants. And like, Shamrock could have been just before they shut down 17 mobs. But for a while, they from what I've been hearing from um, Oxygen and Bullet Bill, I think they are working on bringing some of those maps forward if you watch um, Virtual Farmer. And you go on the FS UK, they've been talking about um, what maps are coming forward to 19. I think we'll see some more mods. Nah, not this late in the cycle. 
considering that it's like 14 days till launch. Or actually 13 for me, Tuesday. Now that we, um, it's 5.19 p.m. Tuesday afternoon, so... And I'll do that. I'll be playing that this time on the 20th. Because I'm going to be drones. That's why I think we'll see more mods. Because I think they're done with 19. Big, okay, let me ask you this, and this goes to you, Klein, as well. Would you rather have more mods for 17? Or near perfect 19 game on release? I think 19's done, though. 19's think... baked, it's out of the oven, it's cooling down to be cut yeah, for brownies. Yeah. Anything they're working on now are going to be day one patches or mods. Yeah, yeah the but my point gold, is The gold image see. had to be shipped off to manufacturing by now, otherwise there would physical mm -hmm. media wouldn't be available globally on the 20th. But you think about, they could, they could do the CDs on the on the week before 19 drops because you think about all it is all a DVD copy is is they get sent to the manufacturers and they can just burn the DVD and get it sent out but it, I'm guessing each country will have uh, their own um, printing place you, or a big distribution center This at that level are pressed not burnt yeah. it still takes time to produce Tens to hundreds of thousands of discs, put them in packaging, oh. package them up, and get them shipped globally. I'm not going to put yeah. this stuff on the fast jets flying across all across the country. They're going to put them on the slow boats from China, is where they're doing all the pressing, and get them into all these stores. They got to right, clear now. customs, and they got to get distributed out to all the stores. I'll take over bailing and figure out where you want to park these bail. Oh, we got a grass bale in there. Just go throw a cow top. Yeah. Yeah, they've they've shipped. There are no uh there's no bale stacks already in. Nope. They all came out of this map was me, so that's something I have to deal with in night. I didn't know. I mean, I knew you updated the map for the ice cream thing. You made the alfalfa stacks, so I thought maybe you could toss a couple in. I would be surprised if the discs are already made. They're just at the distribution. Yeah, I, that's why I, uh, I made them placeable, because the farmyard, there's nowhere to put something unless I retweet the whole thing. Well, somebody in, I think, Giants Discord posted a a picture of, like, it looks like a PS4 case, 19. I guess there's some mock-ups out in the stores. Yeah, all that stuff is... I, I, worked, I worked at Walmart. This is a long time ago, so things may be different, but... Like prior to like a a game launch, I mean they you would have the product for four or five days before you were allowed to put it on the shelf. I mean it would just it'd sit in the back, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's already shipped. We will be shipping this week. Man. Yep. Got to, got to be imported from press, which is, you know they're pressing them in China or somewhere. And then it and has then, to go to your distribution companies, and then yeah. it has to go to your major retailers who have to distribute it, distribute it to each individual store. It's a, you know, it's, it's a pretty long process. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's already all shipped.
looked at the um, grazing mold. Real logger. And have you talked to him about him bringing it forward to 19 or not? But you've got to think, if guys are planning on releasing day one mods, they will have to test those. So, depending on how many of those are thinking of putting out day one, they'll have to test those and get those ready. So, I, I honestly, I don't see any more FE17 mods coming out directly from Giants. Like people are still uploading to FE2K. I don't know if PCSG is still going to upload or not. Why not? People playing still 15. Why make this global decree that 17's dead and have what you have and no one's going to accept anything anymore? Pretty much limiting your audience at that point. I should just send you the real map that's it would be a boot map. <laughs> I was about to say, what's this from? What's this little museum from? Old Ridge Farms. The map that was, but wasn't. Bad, almost two trailer loads. Oh, for bales. Yeah. And a hundred thousand liters of grass. A bad for one fertilize and one growth. Not bad at all. truck with the PDA image. Looks like it's reversed. It is. Redneck and fun. We got six minutes to burn. Something they'd grow in the old time place, old time farmer. Corn. Corn and wheat.
Need some fertilizer down here. Thousand liters of silage. Uh. Looking for a decent tractor. Spreader over here. No. And there's a spreader over here. Hey, here's one. Bridge is that north of sixteen? I need to go check that out. I haven't looked at it. Uh, I think it's just the stretched out original uh, wooden bridge. Gotcha. I know I made a wide as soon as you get a combine, but I We don't have fertilizer or fill points here at the farm, do we? Uh, no. You have a truck. Okay. I do have a truck. Isn't that truck? Fertilizer. You are correct. Oh, it's going to cost me a fortune. I'm just gonna put 3,000 in, that should be enough. I like how you put the little bleachers next to the field. That's cool. Alright, let's go up to the uh, museum. All this, uh, this. Bowment has a working uh, radio in it. If you do IC controls, you can turn the radio on and change the channels and volume up and down. Oh, that's cool. I mean, does it actually have music? Yeah, it's the in-game radio. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sunshade you can drop. Uh, you can open the door from outside, and then there's a inner animation that will... Uh, have you hopping up in the tractor and sitting down? Yeah, I really like that tractor. It's it's nice. I, but I would be turning that sound down. Yeah. No. She is a little loud. We uh we pick it up over at Emerald Coast on the 12th. The storyline is some some uh, eccentric, rich uh, re re real estate agent 
thought he was buying himself a yard tractor and in turn got this thing. Thought he was going to be cool and have this, uh, this you know, um, imported, you know, yard tractor. This giant thing shows up, so got it for free. That's kind of comical and pretty cool. Because <laughs> on Emerald Coast, there's a uh, there's a guy in the uh, residential area that's got a uh, exotic race car in his garage. So it's the same guy. Same guy has got the race car in his garage. So he's got too much money to and he knows what to do with. Yeah. It's been a fortune to have this tractor brought over from Finland. am I going to get a, uh, a finished tractor into a American series that's based in the 80s and 90s? It does turn out that this tractor was produced in the 80s and 90s, so that worked. down the yard. I mean, could always use it to pull the pellet hay thing because they were bringing up illegal aliens in the cab of it from Mexico. <laughs> You're just never going to get to that storyline no matter how I spin it, right? <laughs> I found a cat. No, I don't think it will. Oh, you're back at the museum, because I'm like, oh crap, I don't want to put any cat down. Yeah, that all up there was jazzed up for repeats. I felt bad for him, you know. He made like five or six fields out of these two or something. Yeah, and he was like talking to bushes were like five feet over his head and all that, so I lowered him down and gave him some bleachers and some people walked around so he'd actually talk with some. Is this a silo or just a cell point down here? It's a cell point. But it's... I mean, if you want, I can give you a download link if you'd actually like to play Eldridge. That's, you know, converted from 50. This farm up here is basically a uh, exact reproduction of the main Old Ridge farm, right? Yep, it is with the red guy out of that stuff right there. So it's just the three fields? Up there, yeah, they're the they're the they you have for us up there. Farm. It was just they used like real small equipment and just keep up. Yeah, I want to share it all. Keep around on it. I like little stuff. So did you play 15? I did not. Yeah. Oh, alright, because this map was kind of a big deal back then. Alright guys, well we're just going to uh, finish fertilizing this other field. I'm going to go ahead and close out the stream. I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll be back here on Willow River on Wednesday. Until next time, happy farming.